hire, I'm hired out he agent help, dude. <laughs> hey, hey, y'all. Bo, is it time for a 40? It could be, Hoss. Ooh, <laughs> oh, oh. You'd run it down me. A 40. 40 a butt, dude. Damn. All right, y'all, so good morning, good morning. Uh, it's, uh, Bo's cousin dropped him off. Uh, it feels like he's in decent spirits. We'll see how much money he has, that tells you everything. That's all you need to know. And most issues in life, <laughs> good and bad, just follow the freaking money, man, and you'll know what's up. What's up, what's up? Okay, so it's uh, Thursday morning. I'm getting gas. Uh, man, the fuel seems to be getting more expensive and more expensive. $60 for two lawnmowers. And it wasn't even all the way empty. Uh, and now I'm putting gas in the truck. And we at $35 now. And the, but the truck, I mean, I was about to run out. I was only like 40 miles to empty. So, yeah. So... And Bo's out here, you know, he went over to McDonald's to get him something and he's out front picking up cigarette butts. This is nasty, man. That's some nasty shit, dude. Smoking is all ripped up, but but smoking and, and picking up cigarette butts out off the, off the ground in front of the McDonald's. How nasty can you be, man? Nasty, dude. That, that, that on him. <laughs> so, it's been real refreshing having this young guy out here, but he's not so freaking needy. See, having, you know, just having to deal with Bo and, and, and all the things that he needs every day is just a time sucking uh, a magnet, dude. Stupid shit, man. I gotta go, though, you know? So, come on, man. I've seen you out there picking up cigarette butts. I mean, damn, dude, you don't you don't fell all the way off, man. Don't you have any any pride about yourself, dog? I mean, you you, you out in front of a McDonald's picking up cigarette butts. Think about what you're doing. What would your mama say? She, she used to give me big quarters of them. Yeah, well, but, but yeah, right. What would she say about you coming to work and running over there to get something to eat and having to pick up all and, and picking up cigarette butts? Not picking up cigarette butts, but you're a good guy. Okay. Son. But it's picking up a cigarette butts because you're trying to smoke something. Yeah. I mean, that shit's crazy, dude. And you might catch something, man, fucking around like that. You know? You ever think about that? You always talking about germs and stuff. You, yeah, that's the most, most germiest thing ever, dude. I mean, you can't, you can't get much more germier than picking up cigarette butts off the asphalt that other people have smoked. It doesn't get any nastier than that. What's nastier? You're the only dude I know that'll have a pocket full of money and be bumming money. You know? Maybe she'll jump. <clears throat> Never seen nobody have a pocket full of money and then be and, and then be bumming. That shit's crazy, dude. It don't really matter, man. I'm gonna be sitting on, on my on my couch watching my big screen, eating my ice cream tonight no matter what. So uh, the customer, the new customer I got down here, uh, she, I was, I was uh, waiting on uh, Christian to come behind me, and the other truck, and we so we're going to get so we got started on this one out by the by the by the main road before we start pulling up in the gates. Once you start pulling up into these security gates and stuff to get onto these properties, uh, sometimes you know you, you got to be you got to be thinking about what you're doing because if they're not home to let you back in again, once they let you in one time, then you start irritating folks when you have to go in and out, in and out. Uh, now, now, going out is not a big deal because it automatically opens when you get close to it, but going in is. And if I Christian's never been over here before, so I didn't want to go on down into the cul-de-sac and go into that one and then, you know, but you can't see nothing from the road and he wouldn't be able to get in. 
I'd have to be timing it up where I can meet him at the gate. Just a lot of little stuff. So uh, at the end of the day, uh, we I was gonna just get started on this one, have have Bo edging it. But we we stick edging everything today because I know that the grass is not growing hardcore. I know that we're gonna be able to fly through these properties. So let's go on a stick edge and get everything hardcore, high and tight for the winter. Uh, the stick edge will uh, make the property look a lot better and all that there. So also. So while I was here, you know, we, I was just unloading. She pulled up in a hundred thousand dollar car, <laughs> and she gave me a check, you know, for today. So it just says a lot about people that the trust factor. You got to build trust with people, and you know, uh, though these properties are not hardcore needing it. I told her that uh, you know when we back when we made our arrangement and I went down on the number, which which I think it solidified the relationship because people with big money they're not used to people going down on the price. They're used to them going up, but they're not used to guys going down, a contractor going down. And so I went down on the price. So we're going we're going to be over here probably for about four hours. Uh, four and a half hours, and uh, we'll, it'll be about a thousand dollars over here, nine eighty, I think. Uh, when you do all all four of these, uh, I got uh, all three mowers while Will and Christian gets here. But see what that does by her paying me now, I don't have to go down to her house right now. I can wait until uh, until we get to a point of where where. But at first, I was thinking, man. With him being behind me and me having to wait on him to get up to catch up with me, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go in that gate down there to get my money because uh, she likes to pay me before she goes to work, and it just you know it's a big deal when the customer pays you up front and we're not talking about you know fifty dollars, we're talking about seven hundred dollars. That's a big deal, uh, you know, and for her to have the trust factor uh, that she has, because people with money a lot of times are more skeptical than people that don't have money, you know. Uh, she don't think nothing about writing me and, she, and writing me a check. She asked me how much, and I told her, and she said okay. And you know, though she knows how much I'm charging for today, I know how much I'm charging for today. But a lot of times, people be testing you out here, man. But people with money, it's all. It ain't about the money, though. That it, it'll seem like it is. It's really more about the trust factor. Do they trust you? Do you, you know? Uh, because once they find somebody they can trust, that ain't. That, that ain't trying to rip them off or get deeper in their pocket or trying to do something for nothing, then they don't mind writing a check because either way, they got money. I mean, either way, they're going to be able to find somebody to cut the grass. You know, of course, they don't want to get ripped off and they don't want to have somebody come out here that don't take no pride in what they do and don't show up and don't make the yard do what it do. Uh, every time, every week that we're over here at this new property, I am doing uh, in the cul-de-sac, I am doing extra stuff down in there. Uh, and see, I don't know what Bo is edging. See, Bo, he'll waste some time, but that's okay now. It doesn't matter now because I got the check from her. So now we, now we just, it's just about doing what, doing our job. Uh, I was a little bit not frantic, but a little bit, you know, uh, sideways. Uh, you know, on my way thinking sideways on my way down here because of the fact that I was gonna have to go get down there and get in that gate. And once you get in that gate, I gotta do that one. I'm not going in the gate and not doing the property. So a little more coordination over here when you're on this one because when on these four, you know, I'm doing all four of these when you have all four properties to do. Uh, because you gotta have the second truck in order if you got two guys. Now, if you don't have two guys with you, then you know, there's no point in bringing the second truck. Uh, last time, but I'll probably bring the second truck anyway, um, and just so we'll have a backup mower. Last time we was here, that was the day that I fired Zach. Well, this was the day that, that I sent Zach home over here. So uh, I know what I did to these properties before I left. You know, I sprayed this one, I sprayed that one. I did that one, and y'all know, I kept telling y'all I did it all by myself. I did that one. Uh, and I did the front yard on this one. So, uh, the new kid had not been over here, but these are the properties that you that, that I really need two guys on. And these are the properties that, and, and this is the property that Zach wanna get smart with me after we out here and, you know, think that they, he gonna hold me hostage, you know, and I'm gonna keep him on. He gonna keep getting smart with me about things that are taking way too long.
And like right now, it's taking Bo way too long. You know, I don't know what he's etching. But there ain't no telling Bo, he'll be back there at the back hose washing himself off and shit, you know. He, 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 he does stuff, but you know, the homeowner over here likes Bo, believe it or not. <laughs> she does, she likes him. I don't know, I don't know why, but she don't know him, that's why. You know, anybody that knows Bo, knows that he ain't about, he ain't, he ain't, he ain't about nothing but self. So, I don't understand why it's taking him so long to edge. I don't even see him anywhere. There's nothing to edge in the back. Yeah. So, right now I'm waiting on, I, I cut us a place to park. Christian ought to be here any minute now. Uh, it's gonna be a good day because I done got, I, I, I done got um, over half the money that we're gonna get today. I got it right here in my pocket. Nice fat check, you know. So, that is everything, y'all. You know, to pay me in advance on an account that I never, that I thought I was gonna have a hard time getting money. I probably would have had a harder time getting money, but I built a rapport with the wife, and the wife has probably just told her husband, look, this dude shows up, this dude is consistent as they come, and this dude uh, maintains the properties on the on the two on the end, and uh, we go. I'm a, we're gonna go with him and quit going through all these landscapers because that's kind of the feeling that I got after I first met her. You know, the land. Uh, you know, every every time somebody cuts, every time they need the grass cuts, they got somebody different coming. And see, by having me come on the reg, they're getting a lot of little things done to get these properties in order. Uh, you know, um, Bo don't know it, but he's gonna be touching up a few bushes today. We're gonna try to keep the properties in an order to where it to justify the money. And even if the grass, some of the grass down there in that cul-de-sac is probably not gonna need it, right? I know that. Because it's some hardcore uh, uh, Bermuda zoysia grass. And a lot of the uh, little cubby holes are not gonna need mowing or weed eating. So instead of us, instead of us zipping across there and uh, and just, and spending an hour down there, we're gonna spend close to the same time, but we're gonna be doing things uh, outside of the lawn uh, because that was our agreement for me to be able to come on the reg. Gotta be able to come on the regular to be able to get these big properties like this in order. Uh, and theirs were so far out of order. She's just pretty much just blindly paying me and uh, trusting that I do what uh, it, what's best for the property because you know she don't know what's best for the property. So yeah. All right, there's Christian, y'all. Peace out. We got the one done up there, one of the bigger ones, uh, the one that was taking dude. You know. I don't know. He probably would have been over there three and a half to four hours last time. We did it in an hour flat, you know. Uh, and then we did part of the one across the street too. So really, all we're trying to do was just get get everything going. Uh, and then this one right here is not going to take as long as it took the other one. In no way. Uh, it doesn't look bad at all. Uh, and that's kind of a perk of, of this time of year. So yeah. All right, y'all. Peace out. Uh, I mean, Bo is so, like, just green. He puts the blower right in the middle of the road. I mean, who does that? I mean, for somebody that's been out here all this time, I mean, why do you do that? Bo, I thought you had experience out here, man. You put the blower right in the middle of the road like that? I mean, who does that, man? Right here. Yeah, but what about somebody coming wants to come in and out? You could have set the ball right on that damn rock right there. I mean, 15 years out here, dude. You ain't you ain't figured that. So I got an email uh, with uh, with the tracking information for the uh, power rake. It's coming tomorrow, so. That's good, man. All right, man. Good job over here, man. Okay. How you feeling? A little tired? A little bit. Yeah, me too, man. We see, but see, over here, we ain't got much more. It's going to be a lot of mowing, you know what I'm saying? Where you going, Bosanoa? Alright. What are you 
you got onions and something in your pocket or something? No, I put them back there. Oh, okay. Alright y'all, so we got done. I didn't get hardly no footage today, man. I just didn't have time. I didn't really feel like it, to be honest. I just damn was just uh trying to get done, man. We had a lot we had a lot to do and uh making sure the new guy's on point. How you like the new guy Bo? Does pretty is he doing pretty good? Doing pretty good, ain't he? Yeah he is. Yeah. I mean he's 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 running the mowers and everything were good too, you know. He cut that whole property, didn't he? So, and he he ran the hardest mower I got to run, and that's that Ferris, ain't it? Ain't it the hardest one to run? Uh, might be. You can't probably be as rough on it. Huh? You can't probably be as rough on that mower. Yeah. Either. It's the biggest and the roughest, I mean, as far as, it's the hardest to run, because it's just so big, so heavy, and... Next time we come over here, I won't have to show Young Buck nothing. He'll know every, everything he needs to, to do. Get off I was your straight phone. on the yard, huh? I was straight on the yard. Straight on it, y'all. The Budweiser wants a forty, y'all. I doubt it. Dude. It was hard today. Yeah, I'm about to. I'm about to go to rehab. Heap. Why? You think I don't else to do? Know that dollar rhymes with holler, and we must be on the way to the bank. Nah, <laughs> you like the bank, don't you? It's your favorite time of the day right now, ain't it? Pay, pay, pay time. Man, I'm ready to put this thing up somehow. No, let's get let's take no, the boots off. Like, yeah, let's get this, the boots off. That my heels, I got a heel, I got a heel in my heel because of my toes are so. It looks like we made it through the rotation, you know. This is the heavy rotation on this, on, on this one. And now, after today, and, uh, everything's gonna start really lightening up now. You know, we'll be, uh, uh, the power rake will be coming tomorrow for the Bobcat. The damn, the, the, the big war rake. You ought to need firewood this year. Yeah, well I might do, I might I might have to go out, I gotta go out to Miss Benita to get, get all them bull peanuts. Huh? Make a barrel, barrel fire every now and then do need some wood and you know what I'm saying? It won't matter. I mean, I won't bother you. I, I won't mean, be where are you going? You. I won't be bothering you. Hey, you gonna give me a notice? I can get out right here. Well, you know, you gotta, I gotta go to the bank. You gotta get out of the oh, bank. Okay, all right. I ain't got no cash. I don't care cash. You ain't gonna get ready a notice or nothing. You're just gonna be gone, ain't you? Notice? Table? Fucking homeless? Yeah, because I've set up work. And uh, you're homeless because you, you want to. You just be said it's going to slow down. You just said I can go to jail at any time. You, you can. can. I mean, you could. You don't, you don't believe that? Here, man. You don't believe that you could go to jail at any given moment? Out here walking the streets drinking? You don't think that you could go to jail? That's just being real, well, dude. I'm only home from work right now. I'm not I mean, but anywhere. I'm just saying that. But every day you're out here walking. If you go from point A to point B, you're drinking. I don't hurt nobody else. Ain't nobody nobody. saying you hurt nobody. I'm just saying that you could be arrested at any given moment for, and that's a fact, I'm, you know. But you're more likely to be arrested because you're walking the streets at night, losing your wallet and, and, and drinking, see. So you're more likely to catch a case in your own probation, and that just wouldn't be good, you know. You're not trying to, you're not really trying to protect yourself from, from yourself. Doing the same thing, I mean, you, and here you are on probation for public drunk, and you public drunk every day, every day. You're just lucky, man. That, that, yeah, I mean, you're just very fortunate. Something's gonna happen where you're gonna get arrested, and then I ain't gonna have no help. See, I don't wish that on you. I'm just stating a, a plain, simple fact. You know, so, it ain't nothing personal. 
it's just the reality of, of the situation that you're in. I mean, I feel like I'm doing you a solid by working you, you know? I've always worked you. Yeah, but, but if you ain't working with me, where you gonna work? <laughs> Randy, Randy, dude. Randy ran you off. Man, come on, man. Man, come on, be real. Like Let's be real. Keep it right. real. Let's keep it real, then. I'm, I'm, I'm just going through my day right now. I know you I don't want to bring up ideas. I know you ain't. You ain't trying to think about nothing, but what you gonna do with that damn... Eat. I'm going to eat right now. And then I'd like to rest my foot and take it, wash them and take a shower. Oh, how, how, where are you going to take a shower at? I don't know. All right. I just don't know. I don't know where to trust to take one. I don't know either. What will happen when you don't, when you don't nurture relationships? The relationship I wanted was with my kids. To yeah, but that, but, but that, my but life you, and growth. Yeah, but you got to move on from but that. They threaten. Yeah, but they thr physically threatened. Yeah, but that, but that's it's just not fair to me. I'm yeah. sorry. Life ain't fair. Yeah, but see that, but see, um, it's there's. I won't. It ain't never gonna stop. Man, God dang, it's on. It ain't never gonna stop. So, what? Well, this period. The well, reason why it ain't gonna stop is because you won't stop drinking. The chaos is. I mean, you don't even have an ID. You can't even get a room. <laughs> I mean, if you had the money to get a room, you can't even get a room. That's crazy right there. I can get one very good. Hey, today I can get one. Where? At the license station. Oh, you ain't going. I mean, man, the only way you'll do that is if put you up at a shelter or a church or something somewhere. You ain't going to do that if it's on your own free will. Well, it's better than freaking sitting on a curb and just wasting away to death. That's what you're doing, though. Sinning and doing that's, drugs. But that's I'd what rather you're, go to a shelter lady or a church right, lady. But, but that's what you're doing, though. I you're, really would. But right now, that's what you're doing. You're sitting on the stoop. I work honestly, and I know that, that yeah, I have you're right sitting on the that. Yeah, you're sitting on the stoop, and you're drinking your money up, and then you wonder why your life's so fucked up. When really, it's, it's pretty simple. Stop drinking, and you'll see. You won't stop drinking. You won't stop making bad decisions with your money. I'm not drinking. Here you are. I'm gonna go eat. I'm not gonna I know. Drink. You'll 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 eat, get a nice little full tummy, and then then it's on and popping, pop 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 popping, mm -hmm. and then I won't huh? I'll be okay. I guarantee you an hour. And the thing about it is, you ain't drinking just regular, you know six pack of beer you have you, you can't go into none of the stores so you're you having to go to a restaurant and drink beer and that's even cost even more i want some food i want a meal i know but you're gonna drink some beer with it and then the beer's that's gonna overtake expensive. i don't want it yeah. yeah but then the beer overtakes everything it's just how it is man you know how it is bro you know i know you know i know i know that you know that i know and i'm hungry huh all right i'm sure you are hungry <laughs> you and i just care? work to take care of that <laughs> yeah and here I go doing it. All right, I need that shirt. All right. You just—you really make me more, show me more and more how just, huh? More and more how not to worry about anything else but taking care of that right now. Really? Yeah. You need to stop drinking. You're gonna get locked up. That'll take care of it. I know. You always get pretty sassy when you get a little money in your pocket. A little money? You all, you all, you, you humble Joe until you get some money. You humble all Joe until you get some money. All these guys, what, what we got to do. And all this kind of shit, we're in this situation, you know, you know, whatever, they're willing to set us up and shit. Tell us to go move places where we get on drugs instead of staying at their house and getting our driver's license back. By today, I can have my license in my pocket. And that's what I wanted, you know, but nobody, yeah, but you don't talk about all we can't that. have that, you know what I mean? We got to stay fucked up and all that. Well, there's none. help out there, dude. When I owe you I'm money, you start getting all sassy and flying. Could have had that. Could have had that. Could have had help. Could have had somebody that wanted me to have what I needed, what I, what I want, what, what could help me. All right, man. All right, man. Yeah, 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 man. No, no offense taken, bud. I know we got a car behind us, and you're not gonna be able to just stand there. I was there. fine. I just had a friend tell me. We got me a I car behind us. us. You're not gonna be able to just stand there. No. And here, appreciate it. Got your phone? Yeah. All right. Good job. Appreciate it, man. All right. I appreciate it. Yeah. Take the shelter. See you later. So stupid. See, he, he, he get to where he, he owe, I owe him a little bit of money, and I went on and gave him his money because I don't want to deal with him tomorrow, man. I know he ain't going, uh, I'm not working him tomorrow, so today's the equivalent of payday for him. So, uh, 
But see, he's humble Joe until he get until I get to owing him, and then he starts. Uh, it's a totally different person. See, he wants to get all smart alecky then, you know. Is, is smart alecky a word? I don't even know if it's a word, y'all. You better not call me tonight needing nothing. You know? Well, he, he walking up the street looking for cigarette butts. Got pocket full of money and he ain't gonna and he ain't gonna buy nothing, no nothing. But I already know that, you know. So you know, Bo does not nurture relationships. Needless to say, <laughs> but he worked hard, man. You know, he, the boy worked hard today. So you know. He did. I mean, he worked. I mean, he did everything I asked him to do, and uh, you know, my bow's like a vulture. I mean, the new kid, y'all. I mean, I know it's gonna come back and bite him. The new kid gave Bo some something. I don't know what he gave him. Some crackers or something. And I told the new kid, I said, look, man, don't give Bo nothing. I said, because if, when you do, he's get, if that, that pack of crackers is going to turn into two packs, and that two packs is going to turn into a ride, and that ride is going to turn into moving in with you. <laughs> so you uh, keep your distance from him, you know. So, yeah. Because Bo, Bo's a freaking, he, he's a vulture when it comes to, you know, somebody that's, uh, you know, not experienced in dealing with him, you know, that's not experienced in dealing with him. So, you know, I couldn't send Bo nowhere with the young buck. I couldn't. I just couldn't do it. Because the young buck uh, don't know what what he what, what what he's dealing with he thinks he's just dealing with a normal thinking person and we all know Bo ain't that uh, the young buck ain't never been around nobody like Bo you can believe that so but uh everybody did good today I can't say they didn't no, they did we got to the money and just to kind of show not that it really matters and that clock ain't wrong man but we could have easily been out there until six if something had broke and then i'd be looking at the clock and instead of it being 324 it could be 624 and it wouldn't matter we'd still be in the same spot as far as money goes the same exact spot I'd just be a little tired and I wouldn't be able to talk shit. Hello to the house, y'all. And I know the video ain't gonna be too much going on today. Uh, but y'all know it's Sammy Time Thursday. See ya.